Hello Aquarius, how are you? Welcome to my channel Star 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 and welcome to your reading. Aquarius, this is your reading for the month of Feb and this is a general reading. In this reading, Aquarius, we'll see what you need to know for the month of Feb, your general energy. Then we'll see what you need to know regarding your career, your finances. Then what you need to know regarding your love life. What you need to know regarding your health. What, uh, what are the opportunities that are coming towards you. The challenges that you will be facing in the month of Feb. And apart from that, we'll see what are the general messages for you. I'll be pulling out some oracle cards at the fag end. Alright, so let's get started Aquarius. Let's see what you need to know for the month of Feb. Let's see what is it that you need to know for the month of Feb Aquarius. What you need to know for the month of Feb. What exactly you need to know for the month of Feb. I'm going to lay down the cards first. Okay, so we have six of pentacles for the month of Feb. Uh, your general energy. Okay. All right, then. As far as your career is concerned, we have Ace of Swords. Then your love life is concerned. Eight of Pentacles. Your health is concerned. Eight of Wands. Opportunities are concerned. Empress. Fantastic. And challenges are concerned. Nine of Cups. Hmm, interesting. All right, so Aquarius, first and foremost, I do see a tremendous amount of energy of abundance over here, okay? So the overall energy I am getting, I mean, all the cards are very positive for you. Every single card out of the six cards, every single card over here is very positive, okay? And... Uh, I see that the month of Feb is going to be the month where you will see an upward trajectory uh, in every single area of your life. Okay. All right. So now let's talk about your, uh, your overall energy. Uh, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is telling me an energy of abundance. Okay. So much of abundance that you are in a position to give to others. Abundance can be in any damn form, okay? It can be in terms of money, it can be in terms of happiness, it can be in terms of success, it can be in terms of good health, okay? So, it is like you are receiving a lot. At the same time, whatever you're receiving, a, a very uh, small part of it, probably you're also willing to give away as a token of gratitude to the universe, Okay, so say for example, some of you, you will see, you will notice a huge inflow of money coming towards you. Okay, and that will make you really happy. You will be like, I want to give a tiny bit of share from this to whoever needs this. So probably you might engage into some volunteering activities. You might give some donations to orphanages or NGOs. Okay. If uh, if you are feeling very happy in the month of Feb, you will be like, I want to share my happiness with other people. Okay? So you will be sharing. You will be doing something that will make other people happy. And that need not be something very extravagant. It can also be as simple as uh, like cooking uh, something uh, that is a favorite dish of, of the others, of the other person within the family. Okay, or cooking a favorite dish of your friend, cooking a favorite dish of your of your uh, of your sibling or a parent. <clears throat> okay, so I see there is a lot of abundance that is coming towards you, and you are certainly more than willing to give a, a small portion of that to others, so that you can share the happiness and you can also make other people happy. Okay, uh, for many of you, I do feel like. This is also about an upward trajectory uh, related to your monetary situation. There is going to be a very stark improvement in your monetary position. And that is happening uh, either because 
you are attracting you are letting the universe know like that's it i want positive energy to come towards me i want abundance to come towards me and i'm letting you know this very clearly that this is what i want okay so uh universe is listening to you i also feel for some of you your planetary positions are favoring you okay uh that's what i see so a uh, lot of abundance happiness joy for many of you monetary situation is improving to a large extent ace of swords this is for your career and your finances uh ace of swords is telling me that first and foremost you are getting the clarity that you are seeking in your career if you were standing at the crossroads okay if there was some impending decision to be made <clears throat> excuse me if there was an impending decision that was supposed to be made and probably you were procrastinating that or if not procrastinating you probably were uh, uh, delaying that because maybe you didn't wanted to take that decision for the lack of clarity okay but i think there is some important decision that you will take related to your career because you will have the much needed clarity aquarius and this clarity can be about see swords also mean at the end of the day cutting out something so maybe there is a switch that you are doing for some of you you are changing your jobs you are ending one job beginning another one or there is like you are starting two things in parallel okay if you are running a business already you might start another side hustle and you will get maybe since last so many months you were like uh, really invested in searching like which side hustle you really wanted to start okay and you will invest your you you will get that clarity okay this is this is the one that i want to do okay so the ace of swords is will give you that required clarity as far as finances are concerned probably you want to curb your unnecessary expenditure you want to cut down your unnecessary expenses you will have to take a review of how much you are spending okay is your income more than your expenditure okay you have to make a note of that maybe you can at the beginning of the month you can write down in your diary that these are the expected expenses that you want to make and how you're going to adjust those expenses against your income okay if there is something unnecessary which you feel like you're if you're feeling like you're over expending then you can cut it out okay eight of pentacles eight of pentacles is about your love life i feel aquarius the first message that i got when i pulled out this card was that you are going to meet someone who will be very much ready and willing to put in the required work towards a connection that they want to build with you okay i'm getting a very very sincere energy from this person aquarius very sincere energy and this probably this is exactly what you want in your life you want someone who will put their heart and soul into the connection because that is exactly who you are you put your heart and soul into the connection and when you see that there are no efforts from the other person that disturbs you emotionally okay and you don't want to experience something like that maybe you are single for long only for this reason okay you want someone who who takes love and romance and relationships seriously okay you have met people who were very casual surface level about relationships but now you are meeting someone who is serious about relationships i mean if you watch this card closely this person is working on the pentacles and his pentacles are only increasing he has isolated himself from the rest of the world he's sitting and he is working hard towards the pentacles you know he doesn't even know that his shirts or whatever he is wearing it's it's actually torn it doesn't imply that he's poor no not at all it only implies that his dedication is supreme towards towards building this pentacle and he doesn't even realize that something is is like his his clothes are torn and he doesn't he has isolated himself from the rest of the world because he wants to focus on these things so whoever is coming towards you aquarius this person will be very much dedicated towards this connection 
they will they will be you you i am getting aquarius that you are going to be very shocked like wow i thought in this entire world literally i am the only person who takes love and relationships seriously and i am the only person who literally uh deep takes a deep dive and puts my hearts and hearts and uh, puts my heart and soul into the relationship but look at this person this person is just like me or even better than me and your heart will be extremely happy after meeting this person okay that's what i'm getting uh as far as your uh, health is concerned eight of wands so eight of wands is telling me aquarius first and foremost like if you are uh if you have observed something about your health like there is certain issue that is troubling you since you're a long time but you're dodging that one you don't want to visit the doctor you don't want to go and get yourself tested okay if you're dodging that if you're ignoring that then don't don't do that okay eight of wands is see it's there is i don't see any kind of major issue over here the only underlying message over here is when it comes to health and this is not just applicable to you guys aquarius because of this card this is literally applicable to every single person on this planet earth when it comes to health your health has to be a fucking priority never and ever and ever ignore any kind of symptoms related to your health if you are observing something about yourself do not ignore that if you feel like i need to show this to the doctor i need to get myself tested and do the blood reports and this and that and all that stuff go ahead and do it do it right away you need it and it will help you okay if you feel this is what you need to do it go ahead and do it take some quick action towards that okay health should never be ignored you should always put your efforts to keep your health top notch see health is a foundation very foundation of literally everything if your health is not good you might have like tremendous amount of goals and you will feel like i am i'm ambitious and i want to achieve so and so things in my life i mean it's good having ambitions and big goals in your life is always and always good but if your health is not supporting you if your body is not supporting you if your mind is not supporting you it acts as a major hurdle in whatever you want to manifest in your happiness and joy but yes we have a lot of brave souls on in this planet earth okay who have overcome a lot of challenges and we all must every day thank to the universe if we are in a better position than a lot of people health wise okay and we should always consider our health as the most precious gift to us okay so never and ever take your health lightly it should always be the priority and health when it comes to health precaution is always better than cure again i'm repeating nothing serious over here nothing harmful over here this is the message that i give irrespective of the card i pull out over here this is the message i give to all the zodiac signs health should never be ignored that's it health is a very foundation of everything and that includes physical health that includes your metaphysical health if you need to do the meditation go ahead and do it and every single person should do meditation all right if uh let's talk about the opportunities that are coming towards you so aquarius the opportunities that are coming towards you will make you uh abundant in your life will make you rich you're going to experience a lot of i do feel like whatever opportunities are coming towards you this energy is not just confined for the month of feb the opportunities will come towards uh, towards you in the month of feb but the consequences or uh, the 
effects that you're going to see of those opportunities that will happen in the upcoming consecutive months okay so that's what i'm getting over here with the empress card i do feel that uh, these opportunities are the opportunities which will help you in elevating your financial position these opportunities are the opportunities which will help you create something really significant in your life so that can be a creation of uh, life okay it is it is possible that uh, you might give birth to someone in in next 9 months or something or you might make someone pregnant or you might lay down the foundation commence a business in the month of feb or start planning to commence a business uh, uh start planning about commencing a business in the upcoming months but you will start planning re related to that in the month of feb S there is something that you're going to create and this creation is so priceless okay this this is the best thing that will happen to you that's what i'm getting okay so gear yourself up for some amazing opportunities that are coming towards you challenges surprising that we got a 9 of cups as a challenge and i am feeling like a wish fulfillment is going to happen for you but you will take some time to recognize that this is actually a wish fulfillment for you okay uh maybe for some of you this is a very old wish that you had but you in between you forgotten about it but that old wish is getting fulfilled and that's why you are taking some time to recognize that this is actually whatever is happening is actually a wish fulfillment of yours okay having said so doesn't mean that the value Uh, of that has diminished in your mind no a wish fulfillment is a wish fulfillment L let it be an old wish let it be a new wish the value has certainly not diminished okay but i do feel like it's a challenge because i don't feel this is a challenge per se but i do feel like you will understand the real value of this after some time okay not right away that's what i'm getting having said so you're not losing that wish that is happening for you okay say for example uh if if uh you have your own criteria about the kind of romantic person you you always wanted in your life or maybe you had a crush on someone couple of years ago okay and now that person is coming back to you and they are showing interest in you okay whereas in between you you thought that this person has given up on you or probably they are not interested in you and now that they are trying to woo you you are taking some time to understand like oh my god couple of years ago i actually had crush on this person although in between i thought this person has no interest in me and whatsoever okay i still have that in at the back of my mind that this person doesn't have interest in me but whatever this person is doing they are actually trying to woo me okay so this person this person has interest in me okay so uh whatever action you are supposed to take towards this situation it might get slightly delayed but you are not losing any kind of wish this person will enter in your life okay this is just an example this can be applicable in any other area of your life so let's see what are the what are the general messages for you aquarius what are the general messages for you positive vibes positive vibes make a habit to donate some part of your income on a regular basis the time money and other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies you're doing that So this card is asking you to donate something so that good karma will come back to you. Let's see what is the affirmation for you. 
I'm constantly developing more productive habits that lead me to abundance. Yes, you are developing productive habits. I'll repeat again. This is the affirmation, Aquarius. I'm constantly developing more productive habits that lead me to abundance. Fantastic. All right, Aquarius, I hope this resonates. Hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below. Till then, take care. Have a great time and bye-bye.